So ocean warming is causing a shift in the distribution of species towards the poles, and this is happening 10 times faster in the ocean than on land. With warming, we're losing beautiful and hugely important underwater forests, and tropical species are taking over in places where they don't belong. If we want to preserve the cool water habitats of Australia and the world, we need to take action now. Buildings and cities present among the largest opportunity for carbon reductions around the world. Investing in design, planning, and policy innovations can deliver huge returns. This requires a collaborative approach. The next generation of technologies, tools, materials and designs will enable Australian industries to compete globally. UNSW Australia has embarked on a new industrial revolution that we call green manufacturing. This will enable us to recycle waste materials as value-added resources for manufacturing. This will actually reduce our energy consumption and create pathways that are low carbon pathways for the future. The time to act on climate change is now so that we can foster sustainable economic growth that benefits everyone. Climate action for me is more about the smart use of resources. 20% of the world's population uses 85% of the energy resources. That's clearly not sustainable. That's what got me into solar in the first place. If we were to put 100 square kilometres of solar technology in the centre of Australia, we would be able to power all of Australia's needs. That could be translated around the world. The technology is ready. What we're missing is the political will and the leadership. Justice demands not only that we act to prevent dangerous climate change, but that we ensure that our response is itself fair and just. Climate change is a problem that requires us not to ignore our obligations to others. Climate action gives the world an unprecedented opportunity to join hearts and minds towards collective action to ensure the best possible health and well-being for future generations. We know that climate change is likely to increase the forced displacement of people within our lifetimes. We need to act now to ensure that those who do have to move can do so safely, legally and with dignity. We should also see human mobility as a positive form of adaptation to the changing climate. Without drastic action on greenhouse gas emissions, the ice sheets around West Antarctica are at risk of permanent collapse. If this were to happen, hundreds of millions of people would be displaced worldwide. We're addicted to fossil fuels. If we don't kick this addiction, we don't even know whether all of the Earth will remain habitable past the lives of my children. How this generation deals with this problem will determine how we are viewed by all the generations that come after us. It will determine what kind of people we are. I study the psychological distance of climate change. The idea that people think climate change is happening in the future, in far off places, and to other people. It's happening now. Now is the time to seize the opportunity to change the way we think, the way we behave, and the way we work together.